Hey everybody, my name is Daniel Sun Dunn, and these are my 10 essentials. My very first essential is my iPhone. Now I think I can speak for everybody when I say that everybody needs their phone and they pretty much cannot live without their phone. Of course I use this to, you know, call people, text people, but I also keep all my creativeness in this phone, whether it be my video ideas, or if I just need to write down something, whether it be music, TV shows, YouTube, anything is always on this phone. I don't know what I would do if I did not have this on me at all times because this is literally something I need 100% of the time, 24 seven. Now this essential is something that I unfortunately could not have on me because I was being a dummy and I was not thinking about what I needed for this video, but it is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the best fast food of all time. I'm gonna put like a bag of Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna trick y'all into thinking it's a bag of Chick-fil-A. Editor, put a bag of Chick-fil-A right here so it can look like I have Chick-fil-A. If I had the facilities to get Chick-fil-A for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, I probably would. If I just had Chick-fil-A today, actually, that's why I'm so dumb for not saving the bag or something like that. Matter of fact, here goes some Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce right here. This is part of my system, just Chick-fil-A sauce. Every time I get Chick-fil-A, I take the sauce, open it up, get my spicy chicken sandwich with no pickle, dip it in there, mm, every time, it hit every trip. Chick-fil-A ain't never sold me, not once in my entire life. My next essential is my headphones, my Beats headphones to be specific. Now, I just got these maybe about a week ago, week and a half ago, and these, I will say, have changed my listening experience. A guy like me, I wanna hear every single instrument, every single small, detail in every song I listen to. So this right here is just something that I always keep on me when I'm at the crib and never leave the crib. I use my regular iPhone headphones when I'm outside the house. But when I'm at home, I always have these on my head like 24 seven. If I'm not listening to music, I'm on FaceTime, I'm watching video or something like that. I always have these on hand. This is gonna be very essential this year because there's some artists that are dropping some music this year and I'm really excited to listen to their new music in these headphones. My next essential, is Ponge Moisturizer. A lot of y'all don't know this, but I have eczema. And basically that is just when your skin gets really ashy really quick and it's hard to get back moisturized. And I've been battling that ever since I was a little child. And for years and years and years, I always try different lotions, different types of creams, different ointments. I even at one point used Crisco. Yes, the cooking oil. I used Crisco as moisturizer for my skin. And some things worked and some things didn't work, but what I found is that this right here, specifically when it comes to moisturizing my face, is the best thing that I can use to keep myself from being ashy throughout the day. Whether it's to go play basketball, whether it's go to shoot a video, whether I'm going to work, it doesn't matter where I go, I always leave with this on my face. Now staying in the thing of keeping your skin moist, I gotta talk about cocoa butter. Now, like I said about my eczema, it took years and years to find something that works on my skin. My last thing was for my face, this is for the rest of my body. I always put this on as soon as I hop out the shower because if I don't, I'm gonna look like I've been playing a flower all day. This always keeps my skin moist throughout the day and even though this says fragrance free, the kind I usually get has a good fragrance and it keeps you smelling good as well. If it wasn't for these two things, I'd probably walk around looking like I had white face on. When I was younger, I didn't have no money for no shoes. But now that I got a little bit older, got a little bit more money, I'm able to get a bunch of shoes that I like. Shoes that I weren't able to get when I was a young kid, you know? I'm a simple guy, I like simple colors. I don't like the extravagant stuff. Even though sometimes that's cool, I like to keep it plain. These right here are pretty new. I've only worn these like once. These are the, um, this is a Nike Dunk collaboration with the NBA for their 75th year anniversary of the league. And you know, it's just basic colors, gray, navy blue and white. I like the little lace accent right here. It's just really nice. And this is just one of many shoes I got. Like here are some Jordan 5s here, the What The Fives right here. Uh, I only got one right here, but this is like my comfort shoe. This is my Ugg boot, my new male, I think it's called. This right here is the RS Dreamer 2. This is J. Cole's basketball shoe. This is the shoe that I play basketball in. It don't matter where I'm at, where I go, I always have this shoe on, because personally is the best basketball shoe I've ever played with. And this goes into my next essential. My next essential is a basketball. Now, as y'all may know, 
I am a basketball head. I love playing the game. I love watching the game. I love studying game. Everything about the game, I love it so much. I try to go play at least two to three times a week, but you know, sometimes that is hard because you know, I do have other responsibilities to attend to. But whenever I get free time, I'm either playing 2K or I'm playing basketball with my homeboys and stuff like that. And this is something that's always just been a part of me ever since I was a young child. You know, just playing basketball with my dad and you know, getting older, started trying out for teams and things like that. So yeah, this is really just an essential of my entire life. I've always Always had a basketball on handy near me at all times because you just never know when it's time to go play a game of pickup. My next essential is the Holy Bible. Now, now most times I don't read out a hard copy. I probably just read, you know, from my phone, something like that, or I just. As soon as I start talking about God, these dogs want to start acting like the devil. It isn't necessarily this specific book itself, but you know, just having the faith on your mind at all times, having God in your mind at all times, along with having like a hard copy or just reading it off your iPhone. That's another use of my iPhone. It's just, you know, always have the word of God near you and on your mind and on your heart at all times, you know. Even when you mess up, you know, because I'll be honest, I mess up a lot. And, you know, I got to recollect myself and get back to this right here. This is essential for everybody. I feel like this should be essential for everybody. You know, everybody got their own different beliefs and faces and stuff. But I personally think, you know, come on, it's, you, can't, you can't beat the Lord, bro. You can't beat the Lord my PlayStation 4. Now this right here has been so important for me at all times. When it comes to hobbies, when it comes to my YouTube channel, when it comes to just having a good time with your friends, this is an essential at all times. Ever since 2015, this has been in my hand for most days. I used to take it with me everywhere I travel, but ever since my PlayStation started making that loud rocket noise, y'all got one, y'all know what noise I'm talking about. Ever since they started doing that, I just leave it at home. But before that, grandma house, vacations to a friend house, it went everywhere with me. If I wasn't at the house, I kept it on me at all times. But even now, you know, I stream off my PlayStation, I play games, off my PlayStation, watch YouTube videos off my PlayStation. This is something that I need at all times. Next essential is something that I cannot have in my hand right now, and that's because I'm using it as we speak. And that's my camera. Now, so far, I haven't necessarily ranked these things in order of importance, but I would personally say that the camera is top three. And I say that because it's the reason you're looking at me right now. The reason you're looking at me on this screen is because of my camera. This camera was gifted to me Christmas 2019 by my late grandmother. And she was reluctant to get me the camera because it is pretty expensive. And she wasn't sure that I would put it to any good use. So I made it my plan and my mission to put it to use and to use it for things that I feel like she would have been proud of me for. And I can say that I think I've done that because I show her my videos before she passed and she just couldn't do nothing but laugh and smile and just tell me how proud of me she was for how I've used this gift. Because she told me, Daniel, I was not sure that you would use this for anything and I was afraid I was gonna waste my money. But I see now that you have done a good thing with this. So when I retire this camera and move on to another camera, this one specifically that you are watching me on right now will always have a close place in my heart because not only was it gifted to me by my grandmother, but also she was able to see me use it in a way that made her proud. And that just means the entire way to me. So this camera right here is just so near and dear to my heart. And that's why it is an essential. With that being said, these are my 10 essentials. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you share with all your friends. It's been your boy Daniel Son Dunn. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.